And welcome back folks to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. Well, we are getting close to that time of year again. It's time for Boo at the Zoo put on there by Gladys Porter Zoo down there in Brownsville. You haven't been to the zoo, you got to check it out. You definitely have to check out Boo at the Zoo. Talk a little bit more about it. We have an expert here who knows a little bit something about the event itself. Charlie Obrego, thanks for being here, Charlie. I love that Boo at the Zoo expert. You like right? that? <laughs> Boo at the Zoo expert. So, so what is Boo at the Zoo? So Boo at the Zoo is our um, 27th annual uh, Halloween festival. So yeah. uh, if you, of course, it's probably one of the most popular holidays that, that people love to dress up. Can you get out of character? Um, but um, sometimes we kind of... Uh, are a little uh, apprehensive about maybe our kids, where they're going to be going, trick-or-treating, mm. or you know, going throughout the neighborhood. So the zoo offers a really safe um, environment for you to come trick-or-treating. Um, going, you go around. Uh, pretty much half of the zoo is open up to the to the thing, and we have different um, uh, people from the community uh, involved with with Boo at the Zoo. Um, they'll they'll be manning treat stations or games, and we have other different activities. We're going to have. Um, a lot of other things that they can offer. So you could, you know, come in with your kids, big yeah. or small. I've seen just adults come in uh, yeah, by themselves. I was, <laughs> I was and, just going to uh, ask, can I go? <laughs> yeah, adults can come in, and it, and and um, and we see a, just a really wide variety of people mm -hmm. um, coming in to uh, boo at the zoo, and it, it's a great event. And what you're saying, uh, which is great, is it's really safe. It's a safe environment for you to go out there with your kids, you know. Um, and then you can also see some of the animals that are there too, right? Which is great. Yeah, there's a few animals that are out. Our spider monkeys will be visible. The uh, right. And they know that, and our, uh, don't throw them candy though. Yeah. There's no candy for them. But um, and also our flamingos will be out, and then some of our antelope, like the genting Stiker and one of the little uh, smaller antelope, will also be visible. So not the whole zoo is open. Right. Um, but if you've never been to Boo at the Zoo, you'll know why. There's I mean, we have a lot of people. It's our highest attended event mm -hmm. of the year. Now you, it's not a zoo segment without having. Um, something yeah. on the show. What, what's this guy here with the blue tongue? And Liz, um, she's <laughs> one of our marketing interns. She's mm -hmm. helping me out um, with with uh, one of our blue tongue skinks from um, the education department. And, and and of course, you can't, you know, come to the zoo and not have that animal, yeah. you know, aspect of it. And, and um, it's just one of our many animals that we can take to schools and, and we interact with, with, the, with the public. And a lot of our events are focused around um, animals and conservation. Mm -hmm. And Boo at the Zoo is the same thing. We just want to bring awareness to the zoo is here. We do offer all these events going throughout the year. Yeah. And, um, and we just kind of like to get a little bit more interactive. And, and there are a few animals, like you said, that you can see during the, the, the event. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the event itself. Uh, when is it? Uh, we know where it's going to be. Uh, what, <laughs> is there an admission cost? or? Yes. So, uh, of course, it's at the zoo. Yeah. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> I know, right? Um, but, so, it's um, October 30th and 31st. Every year, it'll land on October 30th and 31st. So, this, this year, it'll be a Sunday and a Monday. Okay. Um, so, if you're a zoo member, um, you actually get in free to the event. So it comes, it's included with your zoo membership. Oh, great. And then um, you actually get to enter at five. Um, but for those of you that don't have a zoo membership, um, it's only 250 if you buy it before the event, and it begins at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then the whole event ends at nine. And um, it's 250 pre sale and 350 at the door. Oh, wow. So very so affordable. It's and very affordable. And that's yeah. what, you know, the, the Porter family, Gladys Porter is a real person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's the thing that they, they really wanted the zoo to be here for the community. So a lot of our events are very low cost, very affordable. And compare the zoo to other zoos in the nation, we're very, um, we're, a very competitive rate. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, here on Inside the Valley, we like doing uh, magic tricks on the show. Um, and folks, we're going to show you probably one of the greatest magic tricks right now because we had uh, a female intern up here before. <laughs> now we've got a male intern up here, just like that. Switcheroo Woo! over there. We got, uh, <laughs> we got uh, Jacob here. He's one of our other marketing interns. Yeah. And um, also, if you're interested in volunteering and being an intern at the zoo, you can always contact us. Yeah. And um, so he has one of our tarantulas. He's a little bit more brave than I am. You know, yes, the snakes we, yeah. I can handle, but the tarantula, it's not my best friend. Yeah. Um, uh, but this is a Texas brown tarantula. And of okay. course, I had to bring it now because we're talking about with the zoo yeah. to bring the creepiness factor to it. Yeah, thanks and, a lot. Um, and people love the <laughs> creepy crawlies. And, and this um, tarantula has actually been really conditioned through our students where we have a, an after school program. These kids come in and they work with uh, this tarantula. I forgot his name, so we'll just name yeah. him. You know, Alan or something. Right? Alan, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but no, uh, uh, it's just one of the things. Of course, you know, yeah. uh, spiders are a big theme around you know Halloween and everything. So we like to kind of get uh, 
get everybody a little glimpse of our Texas brown tarantula, which is actually a local species. Yeah, you can find these in your backyard. And stuff. Yes, and usually in the summer, that's when they're yeah. a little bit more visible. Yeah. And um, so they get very large, as you can see right now. The, yeah. The, the tarantula, he's, he's, a, he's a big guy. Yeah, definitely a big guy for sure. And we're looking at some of those pictures before, uh, I guess, the past uh, Boo at the Zoo. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of younger kids there. And you're encouraging the younger kids to show up. And it's, it's not dark, really when like the younger kids kind of show up, it's still light out? Yeah, so um, you can kind of, if you do come, if you're an early bird, if you do want to come right when the, the event opens, it's still daylight and yeah. sundown is not till like maybe seven-ish or so. Yeah. And um, so you still have enough time to come out with your kids. And then if you still want to take them to grandma's house to go trick-or-treating, you can still have the opportunity to do that as well. Yeah. But if you want to wait till it's a little bit later, of course, you can come at about seven o'clock because we're open till nine o'clock. And then that's when the sun's going down. And then what you saw a little bit earlier, you saw the mermaid. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool. <laughs> so we we have a, a, a mermaid uh, uh, section of the zoo. It's in our aquarium. So we have um, actual mermaids of the Gulf of Mexico swimming in the I like it uh, uh, <laughs> in in the aquatic center. So we'll have a few a few. Are over they there. endangered? They're endangered. This they are. <laughs> wow. They're you won't the find these mermaids anywhere. Yeah, they're off exhibit. You yeah. Know? But the kids love them. My yeah. boss uh, Cynthia, the marketing director, she brought her little girls, mm -hmm. and they she couldn't get them out of the building because oh, wow. they were just glued to the glass like yeah. oh my god oh my gosh i can't believe the it. mermaids and it was a we actually last year was our first year of uh of bringing in the mermaids and it was a really big hit so it's another really good um, factor and of course we also have a haunted house yeah i was gonna so, ask about that so you got a haunted house uh who doesn't love a good haunted house i know tell uh, me about the haunted house so the haunted house every year we kind of go on a different theme and this year um there's i think about six little different compartments of of uh of the haunted house right. that make up the haunted house. There you go. Yeah. And then um, um, they'll go, you know, it is a little scary, um, but of course, if you have your kids and you do want to take them through, uh, you can just tell them, you know, you don't want a scary experience and they'll kind of guide you. You'll have a guide throughout throughout the whole thing. But if you do want to get scared, yeah, okay. It's a, it's good. It's and a good little haunted house. I know. And, and um, of course, the marketing department, we're uh, kind of putting it together. So yeah. Um, I saw some stuff and I was like, uh, I don't want to even go in there. You don't myself. Wanna, yeah, but I it's going to be good. Yeah, sometimes when we're decorating, I get left there by myself and I'm like, uh, <laughs> where'd everyone go? Where'd everybody go? Watch out the spider. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely. I fall off the. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Charlie, it's great to always have you on the show here. Thanks for coming by talking about Boo at the Zoo. Uh, folks, you posted some more information there. If you'd like to know a little bit more about Boo at the Zoo, uh, when it is, of course, it's going to be down there at Gladys Porter Zoo in Brownsville. Uh, call this number, 546 7187, or you just want to know what's going on there at Gladys Porter Zoo, go on line to, I think that's gpz.org. Is that right, Charlie? GPZ? Yes, gpz.org. Okay, you get a little bit more information about Gladys Porter Zoo and of course, Boo at the Zoo. Again, Charlie, always great seeing you. Thanks for bringing by your uh, interns and the creatures of the night. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. Folks, that's going to do it for us. We're inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. I'm Alan Campbell. I hope you enjoy the show. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week. and I'll see you next Sunday morning. Take care.